Hello everyone. So now let us take the fifth type that is sp3d2 hybridization. sp3d2 hybrid orbitals are formed by the intermixing of 1s, 3p orbitals and 2d orbitals. But wh what we have to find out is now which 2d orbitals will intermix giving rise to 6 identical and degenerate sp3d2 hybridization sp3d2 you can calculate the percentage s percentage of p and percentage d in the hybridization as we have seen in all the other types of the hybridization if you don't know you can watch that video so these sp3d2 hybrid orbitals will be uh, oriented in a regular octahedral geometry or we say these are directed towards six corners of an octahedron with the bond angle of 90 now here all the positions are found to be same unlike sp3d where there were the two non-equivalent hybrid orbitals were formed. The positions were different. But in case of sp3d2, all the positions are found to be same. And hence, the bond angle is only one. That is 90 degree bond angle between all the hybrid orbitals. So, six equivalent hybrid orbitals that are formed, four orbitals or four bonds that are formed in one plane. That is, the first set is formed in xy plane and along the x and y axis. So naturally if we look at this structure in x and y axis if we have, we have in one plane. So we say this is formed by the combination of s, px, py and one d orbital if we take it is dx square minus y square. Right. So we can take s, px, py and dx square minus y square for the formation of the four bonds equivalent bonds six out of six four bonds are in one plane the two rest of the bonds the, the second set is formed along the z-axis so it is formed by the combination of the orbitals which are along z-axis so pz and dz square always you can remember this in sp3d also we had taken the three hybridized orbital were in one plane that is we have taken spx and py then pz and dz square that will be forming the two different uh, the second set of the bonds so the geometry or the structure of the molecule shows the square planar arrangement and the four uh, faces that is the octahedron octa means eight and hedron means face so four faces above and four faces below so to total there will be eight faces so we say this is known as octahedral geometry right square plane and remaining two are oriented above and below this plane perpendicular to the regular octahedron with the bond angle of 90 now if you take the example sf6 SF6 is the example for the sp3d2. So SF6 in this S, if we take the uh, electronic configuration of S in its ground state is 1, uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. After that, the valence shell is 3s2 and 3p4. So the electron from 3s gets promoted to 3d and also the electron from 3p gets promoted to empty 3d orbital so we have the sulfur in its excited state which is having six half filled shells or six valence electrons so it can form six bonds with the other atomic orbital six hybridized orbitals that is giving rise to sp3d2 hybridization now can form the six bonds with this other six atomic orbital so if we take the hybridization with fluorine it gives the formation of the four bonds in the square planar arrangement in its xy plane one above and one below so actually we get the octahedral geometry because four faces if we connect this way we get four faces above four and four below so octahedral right it this shows the uh, geometry of the sf6 so sf6 regular geometry is octahedral and the bond angle is 90 degree this is the structure we can see and the combination if we see it is sp3d2 and the p orbital of the fluorine bond angle is 90